GFO provides a powerful platform for tracking e-commerce conversions, but it can be overwhelming to set up. That's where Google Tag Manager comes in, and with GTM, you can easily create custom events and data layers to track purchase conversions in GFO. So if you're ready to take your e-commerce tracking to the next level, let's get started. First, we need to create a custom data layer, basically to track purchases. So this code here is a purchase data layer that we'll be pushing in Shopify and then create a custom event in GTM. What exactly are we looking here? So we are defining a custom purchase event and then this e-commerce is a JavaScript object that holds data for these purchases. It contains information like transaction ID, value, tax, shipping, currency, and items purchased. This data is then pushed to a data layer, which is an array used to store and pass data to different analytics tools. I'll add this document link to the description and you can copy the code directly from there. All right, so we need this tag to be fired on the thank you page after a successful transaction. So let's log into your Shopify admin, go to your settings located at the bottom left, then select checkout and navigate to order status page. And in this additional script section, paste the data layer code directly below the GTM container code. Now let's go back to Google Tag Manager and create a custom event. So log into your GTM account, create a new tag and choose Google Analytics 4, Google Analytics GA4 event as the tag type. Choose the GA4 property you want to send data to and in the event name field, enter purchase then add the event parameters if you want to capture additional information you can use a data layer variable here to reference these parameter names for example here we can see its transaction id so you need to create a data layer with the name ecommerce dot transaction underscore id and then click on this plus icon and then i can choose this plus icon at the top and create a new data layer variable from here so once this is done, you need to enter the data layer variable name, which should match with this name on this data layer variable here. So it should be ecommerce.transaction ID. So once this is done, just click on save and then go back to your tag setup and just enter the parameter name as transaction ID. And similarly, we can do this for other events as well. Let's say I do this for value and tax and shipping and currency as well as for the items. So now this is done and you can pass all these information in the event parameters so that when a transition happens, it not just tracks purchases, but also all of these variables. And then you can use this information in GA4 or any other analytical tool. And then we can add a trigger. To create a purchase trigger, we'll use the same event name we pushed in the data layer. Like here, the event name is a purchase so let's create the trigger using the exact name purchase and that's it you can save the tag and before publishing it to the live website you can verify this tag using preview mode or the debug view in the ga4 admin section you need to make a test purchase to see if it's firing correctly so let's do this here let me do the test purchase so the first i need to click on this preview mode enter the website url and then go to the website and do the transaction here i go here and add this product to the card do the purchase and let's see if it's firing correctly all right so transition happened and if i go back to my preview mode of the gtm i can see all right so now it's working also you'll find this event in the ga4 event section where you can go and mark it as conversion so just log in to your ga4 property choose events under the property column and you should see purchase event here and then you can mark that as conversion using this option and that's it with these steps you're well on your way to tracking and optimizing your e-commerce conversions like a pro